Hello guys, girls, and I'm Viner Pals. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. A couple videos ago, you saw that I got my license and I'm still pretty new to driving. I'm in park now. This is my dad's old car and now it's mine. I'm still getting used to driving it, but it feels kind of foreign. It's weird to me. So I just want to make it feel like my own. And the way I want to do that is to decorate it. So I'll be doing a short car tour, wiping everything down. I already vacuumed a while ago. Didn't record that, sadly. But yeah, I'm just going to be decorating it. My inspiration for my room decor is I don't know gay fairies please enjoy watching this video and I don't know enjoy my craziness okay so for cleaning I do have some Clorox wipes sorry about the lighting the sun's going down I don't know why I decided to film now but I felt like it I'll just be wiping down everything Okay, so this part's really dirty. Like, ew, but, oh, there's gum, okay. I don't have a scraper. Oh, there's staples, wow. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys after I wipe down more stuff because there's a lot to wipe down, so see you guys in a minute. I just realized I never had my heat on, so I was wondering why it was cold. That's why it's cold. Great job. But anyway, still, I just finished uh, wiping down the car. Most of it's like sticky, so I can't really get most of the stuff off. But I wiped down the car. That's all that really matters, right? I think we should get to the interesting stuff because cleaning is not my thing, but I know it's important, so I must. First things first, I'm gonna try to figure out where I should put everything because I have a vision in mind. I think I'm gonna go with the things that I can picture first and then add the stuff that I can't really think about after. I did buy a trash can from Amazon, so I'm gonna put that out so I can start putting some of the trash and the nasty wipes in there so they're not just floating around. In this pile of stuff, yes, I'm including stuffed animals and yes, this is part of the trash. This is my trash can. And yes, that's a vine for my house and that's a, all, most of this is from my house. I haven't opened it yet. Probably moved to the passenger seat just cause there's more room. And just take this with me. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna keep it. The only thing I've actually had set up is that. It's like this tissue holder. I'm using it to hold my mask, so it's like the only thing I have set up. So I have to set everything else up. I'm gonna start with the bigger things, just so I can get that out of the way. I have a couple of books. I'm gonna put them in the front for now, so I have more space back here. My friend got the hat that's his <laughs> um, matching hats from Spencer's. I'm gonna put them here, right there where everyone can see them. I think it looks festive, to be honest. Maybe they'll block my view. So let me just keep titties there. Hopefully it's not distracting. But <laughs> this area, like above my cup holder area, there's like a weird spill. So I just want to kind of cover it. And also if I end up going to school earlier, I want a blanket so I can kind of sleep. So 
I'll just be putting this here. And of course, my stuffies will go here. So I have like little seat people. My brother usually like sits over here in the back. I can't drive with him unless my mom's in the car, but he's gonna be with me soon. So I don't wanna take up his space. So I'll just put them all here. Like how I said I had all those books. I think I'll be putting them in the pockets behind seats. I do have this game. I guess for road trips, I wanna put it in the pouch. I have this planner. I have no room for it in the front seat, so I'll probably put it in the pouch. This book. Ow! This stuff I'm gonna put up in the front because it has like personal products and stuff and a notebook for journaling, so I'll like put them in both seats. Here, we'll get the thick book planner on this side, journal on the same kind of side, and games this way on the opposite side. Nice. I'm really liking it. A fan, oh, I'm gonna put it next to my book thing. Oh, it went all the way down there, so yeah. So everything that goes in the front is already up there now. So I have this rose gold thing. I do plan to keep tools and stuff in them. I know there's not a lot of space in here, but like the more essential tools, like wrenches, screwdrivers, I'll keep it in my trunk. Oh yeah, I'm cold, I'm cold. Am I going out here without a jacket? Yes. So now we're at the back of my car. Let me find a space. Okay, now I'm gonna be back in the front. I really like how the back seat's looking. It's cute, you know, it's cute. And I also have to be practical because I can't fill up my car like how I want to. I could go for the more simplistic. I can't show you it because I do have an easy pass thing up there. Oh yeah, it's out of frame. Okay, perfect. You see what this looks like? Oh, that's a little camera to record everything just in case I get into an accident. Proof. My bracelet's lost. It got caught on the trash can thing and I'm not going back for it. I'm gonna put this metal straw pouch. I'm gonna put it on this side next to me. I will be putting it down here. Uh, it's not completely clean, so neither is my metal straw, so twinsies, I guess. Ooh, okay, I really like how that looks. In the meantime, I'll just be putting like the knickknacks in certain areas, so I wanna figure out what my knickknacks are. Probably this is an extra one, so I could put this one in the back but we'll get to that when we get to that. I said I'll focus on the front, I'm gonna focus. And for my cleaning supplies, I'm keeping my Clorox in here. I'll probably keep it, I'll probably just keep it in the back seat, to be honest. Hand sanitizer and stuff. I have spray hand sanitizer that smells like lavender, and then I have regular like hand sanitizer. I love how I clarify that. This is my wallet and it has my license in it, so I think I might just put it on this side just because it's easier to reach if I do need to show it. I don't want to struggle because that, uh -uh, not as a black person. Uh -uh. Yeah, I managed to find places for like everything. I thought it would be more of a struggle to be honest because I'm pretty indecisive, but I was able to just put it away. The only thing on my passenger side is really just tissues because I know as a passenger, I get pretty, ooh, if there's stuff on my side, so these cute little, cup holder LEDs and I realized I think you need to drink them. And they're Sailor Moon. I can't just use them. But yeah, they're supposed to glow. They won't be doing that. Not today. Also going up front, I think next to my tripod will be this. Cause I have band-aids, pads. I forgot what else I have in here, but like These door lights, also Sailor Moon themed. Hopefully, they also don't need to be charged, but if they do, I'll just charge them, you know? And this is what I was like most excited for, but if it's not working now, I really don't want to rush it and have it like fall off and have to buy a whole new one. Cause that is not the vibe. I think I'll just put this on the back low hook, then I'm just gonna head home.
Okay guys, today is day two, but it's a week later. If you could tell from my braids, my locks, my, oh! They look a little crazy. I have a lot of stuff that I need to like organize. And like, when I think about how my car is decorated, I realize it's not that optimal for other people in it. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing. <sighs> So I have a lot of stuff that I do need to go through. Here I have this really cute contact paper. Looks like this. I'm gonna put it down on the areas that would not get cleaned. Um, I have a new pack of face masks that I will fill the thingy with. And I have this USB charging port for my phone. I might not show the complete assembly of everything just cause it's a lot and this car, I, I can't get around very well without knocking stuff over. I do have more stuff from like my dad who didn't want to like use any of this stuff so I'm using it. They're like a Rubbermaid thingy for like a cup holder for extras. And another seat organizer. Well I have a towel for cleaning it and I have these fake flowers to decorate the car with. So let's get started. Stem of the thingy, all of them popped out, and then I just thought it was cute for both sides, so they're naked. They all went up here, as you can see, with the plant thing, and then down here, I just put this with some of the ones that fell off. I think it's cute, just like that. And in the back, I have more flowers and stuff. I'm gonna put this much back, take this much. Is it completely cute? Not really, but it's not ugly. See you guys later. If I can figure everything else out, cause I, I'm struggling here. Hey guys, okay, so we're back in my car again. I'm really super excited. Hi, it's been a while, but today I think I'm finally done with my car, at least for now. It's more so function over look now, but the look's still very pretty in my opinion. My coasters, my Sailor Moon coasters, I finally got them to work. Oh, is this supposed to come off? Anyway, here's the reveal. I didn't know it was supposed to come off. Okay, so I finally found a compatible charger for it. I just had to like press it in, so I was nervous because I didn't want to break it, but you're supposed to apparently. And then you hold it for two seconds. I think it's just because it's super bright, but at night, if I press them both at the same time, I should just be able to flip through different colors of them, so I'll check again when it's later and darker. I do have really cute sunglasses. I'm not gonna put them on because I don't want to mess up my fro. I'm gonna put it up here and the sunglass holder like it should have been a long time ago. I just never, ooh, never put it up there. Okay, I, I think it's fine like that, yeah. Sunglasses are up, coasters are down. The last thing I have to do are these projector lights. If you could see, I finally got them to work too and it's another Sailor Moon thing. So they work by you pressing this button and it has sensors on it. So like these magnets you're supposed to put on the inside of your car and this goes on the car door. And so it kind of like passes through this sensor and it's like, you see how it turned on and then press it again, turns off, on, off. So that's like what it's supposed to be like when it's like opening and closing the door. I don't really know how to get this angle right, but I hope I explain it enough if I can't I'll come back to you guys okay so after some trial and error I finally got it working let me show you guys real quick so you have to put the metal directly underneath it so when it opens you can see the lights on and then when it closes it's directly underneath I'm really done and I get to show you like little updates because I did add another stuffed animal in the back his name's Ham Ham maybe I have enough time to do it but once again I'll check back with you guys after I'm done for a final reveal so see you then you don't need to do that for <laughs> Sailor Moon. <Yay! laughs> it's so cool. Okay, time oh. to test. You can come on for this. Side. Oh man, I might have done it wrong. Come on. Oh, the coasters are working though. Oh wait, it did, it did, the light just didn't come on, that's all. Yeah, that means I did it wrong. No, you just didn't have the light on, see? Mom, you pressed the button to make the lights come on. Yes, I did. It's supposed to be automatic. Oh, oh, I thought it was going on. <laughs> No. <laughs> but at least the coasters are working. Like, can you imagine some water in there? <laughs> Why do I have so much light? Because <laughs> you always do the flash. <laughs> I didn't do always. Kaylee, this is your phone. Like, I always do the flash. So we do one, two, three. And those are all the colors. Ah, I'm so excited. 
working and then if you like hold it again it turns off and then if you press it again they turn back on and now they're sort of synced up to change colors oh it's so cool <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't wait to have a matcha latte again. <laughs> okay, so I just found out my tech engine light is on. So I'm going to make this quick for a final reveal. Sorry if it's rushed, but this is the best I can do. And it's not really night times. But I showed you in the footage before what everything looks like when it's glowing. So here's my interior. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked this huge transformation video. I know I didn't do a lot of the stuff I wanted to do, but I realized it's unrealistic for a car. Hopefully in the future when I get more comfortable, I can do more. <sighs> and yeah, I guess now I'm gonna see if I can hopefully keep the car because if it's something serious, then I won't be able to keep this car after I finish decorating it. <laughs> ah! But hopefully it's not that big of a deal. So thank you guys once again for watching. See you guys in the next one.